This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so these are the some typical components of the PPPM. <coughs> so we have a first uh, <coughs> buckets and bucket structural plannings. Under that, you have a initiatives and the item. Now, what is the initiatives? Initiative is nothing but your ideas. Okay, the ideas can be further converted into the projects or directly you can create a project that is called the items. Okay, there also you can do all sort of a plannings, financial planning, capacity plannings, your bucket plan, sorry, uh, budget planning, revenue plannings, okay, schedule plannings, your uh, <coughs> resource plannings, your risk assessments, each and everything you can do under the initiatives as well as the idea both. Hmm. Then <coughs> you have a decision points, decision points which have a some uh, strategies, okay. So what is the strategies? But suppose like uh, you have a multiple stakeholders, each and everybody has to approve it. Once they approve it, someone then on a background system will automatically release the some sort of a uh, WPSS. Okay, so once they release, so that you can start the execution phases. Each and every we have a different type of a phases. Okay, so each and every phase is going to link with the, your decision points or a strategies. In that various stakeholders will be people will go into input. So each and every people will check what exactly you are doing into the system. Whether it's respect to the financial plannings, maybe capacity planning, maybe schedules plannings, maybe some sort of any risk plannings. Each and every uh, phases they might have a different peoples. Okay, those peoples will go into verify it. Then they go into approve it. So once they approve it. <laughs> on a back automatic the system will create some uh, programs and it will create you something like uh, release the projects okay or uh, uh, budgeted these kind of some uh, strategies we have okay those strategies come under the decision points okay based on the your stakeholders it will give you a third kind of a decisions then we have a risk assessments so risk assessments is involved your questionnaires and the scoring models okay so each and every decisions or phases you have a different set of questions okay so suppose if i am a stakeholder i am going to ask you the couple of questions if you satisfy me with this kind of any questions okay then uh, i am agree with these points and uh, i'll say okay uh, you can go ahead proceed to the next levels okay so for that, we require some questionnaires and scoring models we have. Then <clears throat> we have a reviews, okay, each and every quarterly or a half yearly or a monthly basis I can review. I may working with the only single projects, I may working with the different kind of a projects. So each and every uh, <clears throat> project assessments, every monthly or a quarterly, it has to be reviewed with the stakeholders. It can be one single project, it can be a group of projects. Okay, then you can do the financial and capacity plannings. Then you do the some sort of a KPIs, key performance index, okay, and the matrix. And you can upload the some documents. Okay, <coughs> there is a provision you can upload the documents. Okay, then uh, there is a role based access. Okay, also <coughs> the person based. Okay. So you can provide the, some access to the your uh, subordinates as per the business requests. It can be uh, admin access, it can be uh, read access, it can be write access. If you're not giving the, any access to them, it can be uh, they cannot use your items or your portfolio or your buckets to the any further uh, <coughs> any of the reports if they wanted to check. So if you're not giving the authorizations, then they cannot check your uh, reports or uh, they, they cannot review your uh, items or uh, initiatives. It can be buckets also. So any doubt till now? No, I'm, I'm, I'm following. It's There is a lot of information here, so I'm following. Yeah. It's a very good demo. So what is the bucket? As I said, like buckets <coughs> is a, a group of a projects or a group of a programs, okay, or it may be a single projects, okay, that is called a buckets. So bucket <coughs> has some information which is called a name, external ID, some sort of status as, okay, 
you can also do the, in the bucket levels high level financial and capacity planning so, suppose like uh, uh, you are a uh, project manager or a portfolio manager under the one bucket the bucket may be a real estate apartment okay so you every every year uh, based on the your uh, cash flow okay you going to uh, require some sort of a budget and uh, you got the some budget so under the those budget you going to execute the your projects ongoing projects or as well as the any new projects so based on the budgets planning you can do the some budget planning into the financial and capacities okay like these many resources and this much of a planning is required to further proceed of new projects so high level uh, filings and high level capacities you can do you can perform the some sort of authorizations okay you can do the some comments on that under this you can perform the projects which can be initiatives which can be items okay then if you have a different type of a uh, <coughs> uh, peoples okay those who going to execute this uh, portfolio management so one is called a program administrator or a portfolio administrator his role is to create a portfolio his role is to create a portfolio structure structure is nothing but your uh, bucket level structure under that he is going to ask some resources to the <coughs> is rpm rpm is nothing but resource manager for suppose like I required some hundred people to work under this uh, my projects or maybe uh, this bucket. Okay, then his job is to only uh, ask the resource manager. Resource manager's job is to identify those resources and he has to assign back to the portfolio administrator. Once this job is done, okay, then these are the different team by team of people. Okay, group of people. Then the portfolio manager. His job is to create a dashboards. His job is to analyze the portfolio. His job is implement the strategies. Okay, the strategies may be anything like it can be uh, risk management, it can be financial planning, it can be uh, resource planning, it can be scheduling. Okay, it can be cost planning, it can be revenue planning, <coughs> any kind of a things. Okay, he will try to do the this kind of a uh, <coughs> activity. Once he has been done. He is going to create a one portfolio item. Okay, he created a portfolio item and he will give it back to the project managers. Okay, he is a project manager. The project manager will <coughs> monitor the portfolio items. Okay, he will create or edit some portfolio items. Okay, under that he might create some WBSS networks, network activities and, and all. He will upload the some project relevant data. Okay, it can be any type of a documents. Okay, then you will try to change the some statuses. It can be created, it can be in progress, it can be release, it can be uh, like approval. This kind of a you know, lot of statuses we have. Okay, also you can create uh, some different statuses on that. Based on that, these three is the main people. Along with this is also the person is very required, a resource manager. Resource manager, he is to fulfill his uh, <coughs> resources. Okay, so he will going to distribute again under him or under him. Okay, the high level strategies peoples will be these two peoples are the very high level strategies peoples. Okay, so when the strategies with respect to the resources and everything has been distributed, this person will further create a projects into the PS projects. Or it can be integrated with the Primavera or a MS projects. Then you start the execution. Till here, everybody has an interlink. Okay, they are going to work each and everything. All these four people will going to work under the portfolio itself only. Once it has been done, the project has been created and everything. Then their job is to only monitor and the review. Okay. So you can do the financial and capacity plannings. So under single truth, okay, you can create a, your financial plannings, or also you can create a, a capacity plannings based on the uh, uh, objective. Okay. 
so it can be a uh, monthly basis it can be a uh, daily basis it can be a quarterly basis it can be half yearly basis sorry or it can be a uh, yearly basis so as per the business requirement you can create your financial plannings and the capacity plannings so directly also you can create it or integrated manner also you can create it like in the ps projects you do the all your cost plannings then it can be integrated or you can also upload whatever the excel sheet plannings you try to do that plannings also you can upload directly into the your financial and capacity plannings okay so these kind of any screens will be appear okay here all your yearly wises or a monthly wise or a quarterly wise you can create uh, your financial plannings with uh, manual activities or maybe uh, integrated or maybe directly you can also upload your uh, financial planning or a capacity planning against these kind of any uh, dashboards okay these are the standard dashboards if you want to do some sort of basic changes you can do it but if there are huge changes in and all then you have to do the enhancements but mostly we 99 percent we try to use always a standard if the standard is fulfilling our requirements there is a no need to do the any enhancements so everything we try to do under the uh, fury screens only there is a no t codes okay everything you try to do under the fury screen itself only only for the configuration sake you need to go to the SCP GUI and you do the your dashboard configurations so once it has been done everything you're going to manage under the master data and the business transaction data everything you're going to manage under the fury screens itself only so these are the some fury screens okay with respect to some tiles okay how the projects can be created how the portfolio can be created how the reports can be managed each and everything is coming under the a different type of a tiles okay those tiles will going to let you know uh, there is some 80 plus tiles we have okay so <coughs> each and everything predefined only thing you have to identify which tiles you have to give to the which object you want to do uh, give to the your uh, respective stakeholders okay uh, we know we know yeah um your voice was a little bit low can you um increase just just a little bit louder please okay am i am i audible now yes now is good yes okay all right thank you so based on the uh your requirement the tile requirement you're going to distribute these tiles to the your respective stakeholders okay and according that they're going to work it can be financial tiles it can be uh, capacity based tiles it can be uh, portfolio creations or a bucket level creations or item creations uh, so those tiles you're going to give to the uh, respective stakeholders and the relevant projects also so once you give in the tiles and they might work for this only as a consultant you have to uh, work all those things okay so any questions you have um yes is this have you ended the demo this is you've shown the order or the no. um, okay all right so yes i have a few questions thank you so much for that introduction that was a good one um the reason why i am saying that was a good one is because i have i'm exposed to sap ppm and ps mm -hmm. to some level i'm just not exposed on a more practical level um, but on the theory side i'll say a good 30 percent knowledge of it <clears throat> so i see a good presentation when i see one um, I do have a few questions that are a little bit not related, and then maybe I'll come to these, um, the related. Let's start with the related question. So you mentioned that there is a portfolio manager who will be doing the administrative stuff, and yes. then the program manager, and then there is, what, what are the levels of hierarchy when it comes to SAP PPM, and how does what level what skills determine what level or what skills do you have to have within the sap ppm domain to be at let's say for a program manager what are his duties you know something like that so that i have an idea which 
opportunities are there which places you can place yourself uh see the program manager basically deal with the all type of strategies okay strategies means if, if i am a product manager or something like that i have a uh, some vision that vision <clears throat> maybe i try to create a new projects and i want to introduce into the market or maybe i have an ongoing projects which is an operational projects and i want to rectify the something for suppose like you are a power distribution corporation you working okay and you wanted to increase some power uh, to the residential peoples okay because of some lack of uh, powers they have uh, reflecting for that so for that you're going to working into some sort of a strategies and the strategy you're going to represent to the your stakeholders so just now i given you another example like maybe you are a, a portfolio administrator or a manager you have some vision like some hundreds of apartments hundreds of flats you want to create and you want to give some uh, revenue to the uh, uh, your uh, <coughs> organization so if you are a project manager or something and you came to me and you're saying okay i have some vision and i have something these are the ideas in my mind okay if you give me this much of a land this much of a budget and this much of a uh, resources I'm going to give you this much of any revenue planning on a completion of these projects. I'll ask you, okay, present me each and everything. Give me the some uh, PPDs, relevance and, and all those things into pre-present it. Then we'll go into discuss further. So you prepare the, all the PPDs and everything. You told me like, okay, this much of a spam within a three or five years of spam. I'm going to complete this much of a things. I required some thousands of a peoples. I required this much of a budget. So I agreed, okay, fine, you giving me, I'm giving you some 10 millions, okay, US dollars, okay, and now you are promised me, like you're going to give me each and every uh, yearly 10% uh, on that or 20% on that. So I'm happy for that. Correct. So these kind of strategies will be coming under the portfolio level itself only. So those portfolio maybe if it's a small organization only one people will be managing each and everything if it is a big organizations then they might have a different people's of a teams it depend your skills your management skills your knowledge so each and everything is come under that we cannot say like okay you are something like some finance you have a knowledge but you do not have a knowledge on the projects or the resources so you cannot do like that so you should have some basic knowledge of the finance basic knowledge of schedules basic knowledge of your uh, uh, previous experience then it is very easy uh, you can do so there is a some uh, you know right uh, maybe some there is a ceo okay you cannot compare the uh, google or a facebook ceo with your tesla ceo That's true, yes. Or there may be some other small, uh, there is a Burger Kings or a, a Pizza Hearts or maybe some other uh, uh, small company CEO, those who are executing their uh, plans. So he, he is doing each and everything. Correct. <coughs> I am the CEO. I have a, I am running one company right now. Okay. I am the CEO. I am the resource manager. I am the finance manager. So I know each and everything. If, if they could try to give me the any project, I can run the any sort of a projects. I have a knowledge on how the IT projects I can execute it. But if they try to give me uh, any anything like uh, uh, manufacturing kind of an industries. So first I need to learn some uh, knowledge. I need to gain some knowledge how the production activity is going on, how the new projects are going. Once I know this, then I can manage it. Am I giving you answer? Yes, yes, yes. Um, let me. Um, so because I I have that I I do not have the hands-on practical experience. So everything that you are saying, I can see the possibility of it, but I have not seen it in action. So I guess when you go in, that's when you start seeing the structures and everything. Um, 
my next question is more to do with let's say if you go in as a project manager right um which will be probably the most basic level um that maybe you can go in when you go in as a project manager do you oversee the portfolios and the resources do you oversee the financial and capacity planning do you oversee the buckets or do you oversee the items which which um domain or sector that you oversee as a project manager every every domain every sectors it requires a <clears throat> finance managers project managers the project manager is the one who manages all the resources all the finance okay and uh, all those things but before that <coughs> he has uh, some strategies he has uh, some other people those who called as stakeholders so he has given uh, some road map either he created a road map or the road map he is getting from the stakeholders okay they given them some budget to him okay they given some cost to him they has given some resource to him now he has to manage his projects he has to uh, he has to work with the resources and he has to gain the some revenue and he has to share those revenue with the stakeholders so each and every organization whether it is small or a big okay everybody has linked to the uh, project managers and the stakeholders so these project managers okay further which is integratedly working under the portfolio level itself only because he is a part of that uh, strategies it cannot like that okay you might not be the project manager i am the project manager okay uh, sorry you are the project manager and i am the stakeholders i given you okay this is the budget now these are the resources now you do like no, it is not like that you are the project manager you have a complete uh, authorizations and a complete uh, questionnaires you go into part of those strategies okay so that you raise the your own questions to the stakeholders i'll give you 1 million but you are asking me a 2 millions <clears throat> so you should be a part of those strategies so that the high level stakeholders along with the project managers they will be sync on that and uh, after that only you can execute the projects otherwise uh, there is a lack of knowledge it may be a you or it may be a stakeholders but uh, you cannot uh, ask the managements like uh, unnecessary budgets but you should be have uh, some strategies to ask the budget so those strategies is a part of your portfolio only it is a integrated manner okay okay all right and when it comes to the project management side of the course i i think you mentioned it <clears throat> you can integrate it with ps um so where do you do the financial and capacity planning um i know i do can... in the portfolio level itself only because that's my first levels of strategies okay and these strategies i'll going to discuss with the all my stakeholders including my vendors including my project managers okay including my resources those who going to work under the projects each and everybody is a stakeholders for me but <clears throat> the approvals will coming with the higher managements once they approve it okay then we can convert that into the projects so the item itself is called a projects into the portfolio levels so there i'll going to define my strategies my financial plannings my capacity plannings each and everything i'll discuss with them and i'll show will present to the stakeholders okay once everybody is agreed and everybody is approved okay then we convert into the either a c projects or maybe a ps project or it can be any third party also So item itself is a project. So all sort of plannings you're going to do under the portfolio itself only. That planning simply you copy into the your uh, projects. Okay. Just transfer. Yeah. Okay. And when it comes to the resource management, right? Mm -hmm. How do you um, who who oversees the budgets and who oversees the resources? Is it the same? project management or is it the same portfolio manager who oversees 
the resources oh, and the portfolio manager portfolio manager or project manager will say to the resource manager like i need a five years of experience guy okay with this kind of a qualifications and this is my budget okay but suppose you and me are working my hourly plan is a uh, 500 us dollars and your plan is a 400 us dollars okay so the manager will say no i require only 400 us dollar based uh, person with the 5 years of experience so they going to select you not me because of your uh, uh, per hour cost is a 400 us dollars correct so like these kind of in a things will be shared by the project manager or the stakeholders to the resource managers also because these peoples the initial levels all these peoples has integrated they are going to work like a team five or six peoples they are going to say it okay they will say okay this much of a resources high level paper level they try to do then they will come into the system and they are going to share this plan to the stakeholders these these you can say mid levels peoples okay these mid peoples will going to share to the high level stakeholders with uh, with all these resource plan cost plans each and everything all is coming under the uh, portfolio strategies okay and so if i understand then the portfolio manager will reach out to the resource manager for resources and he will reach out also to the project manager for maybe the financial and capacity planning uh, or the budget side of it right there is finance manager then there is resource manager right or who oversees the budget uh mostly the project manager will going to handle all those things okay under the project manager these people will going to work all the resource manager because ultimately projects has to delivered by the project manager only so okay. these in the higher uh, uh, like if you go to the big organizations they might uh, might have a different type of project managers finance managers and all those kind of things but usually if i can say typically there will be at least two project managers will be there one is your uh, complete one uh, solo project manager another one is a typically a finance manager because he has to look into the all your cost plans okay you going to work uh, with you okay he may be work under you or it may be work with you and uh, these two people will going to manage the projects so he will cut short some costs he will cut short some budgets okay so cut short some revenues and all the rest all you have to manage so this kind of an uh, strategy will come it is not uh, <coughs> like uh, Uh, when you go to the big organization or a small organization, the region every uh, projects have a different strategies. But all yes. these will be connected each others. Okay, all they going to work under the one uh, portfolio itself only. Okay, and uh, they can visualize what who did what type of a plannings. Each and everybody can see into the system. That's the reason we are not doing any manual communications or as some written papers or these kind of things. Everybody work under the same page, okay? Because you are a consultant, you know each and everything. But those who are a users or a end users, they doesn't know all those kind of things. If 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 you're going to ask something, okay, to the some people, you do the risk assessment, you might know the risk assessment. But if there is some other people, if you say him. If you do the schedule planning, so you don't know the what is the schedule planning. So you know only the risk assessment only. So risk assessment, there is a different team. Okay, <clears throat> for financials, there is a different teams. The capacity, there is a different teams. Everybody teams going to work under the one portfolio itself only. So all these strategies will going to represent by the uh, project manager to the stakeholders once they approved it. then all this group of people is going to work under the same projects okay all right it is not okay. a one man army job okay each yes. and every person has to work so that your project can be deliverable okay 
okay that's that's also really good very high level um now let me ask you let's come to this course what what is the expectation at the end of this course let's say once the the training program is finished um what 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 level at what level does it place you on the scale of all these hierarchies hierarchical levels that we have seen or hierarchical See, these um, are these are uh, you cannot ask me this kind of a question to as a trainer correct these okay. are the <coughs> relevant things like it is depend on the your job skill i don't know what job skills you will be get right yes. i cannot uh, promise like you will get a ceo post or a finance people kind of a post yes so okay. once you done the course you gain some knowledge then uh, you can uh, check what are the uh, things is there being you are consulted so you should be as a consultant you going to work okay after that once you uh, get some good experience you might be a ceo yes. or a cfo kind of in a roles okay thank you that was that, that's that's exactly what i i i needed too. So th thanks for that. That answer was the, exactly what I needed because I have been in very traditional companies where it's only CEO, CIO, CFO, you know, all these things. I have not been in any place where you they, they call them program managers or portfolio managers. I guess it's the same role, different different names, I think. So that's why I was asking. Every, what every organization, these type of uh, people will be there. <coughs> okay. The names may be different. Some people they called it is an L1 program manager. Some people they called a VP, vice presidents. Vice presidents also uh, come under the uh, technically come under the program managers. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Typically, yeah. all the program managers. Some organizations say it is a uh, general managers. Okay. Some organizations say okay, senior delivery managers. Okay, so those kind of a things, some organizations say it's a partner, partner is also the program. So program under the partners, they might have a different type of projects is going on. The naming yes. is different, every organization. Yes, yes. VP, yes. senior VPs, general managers, or maybe partners, or a delivery managers, or a senior delivery managers. But everybody is working under the uh, portfolio itself only as per the business objectives okay all right that's good that's really those are the things believe it um i i wanted to know about the, the training so that i can relate it in my in my world because i'm seeing this i've not seen those uh, names and everything so i wanted to relate it so thanks for that okay so what is the duration of this course um and the reason why i am asking is that like i said i have I have a good understanding of the portfolio creation process, even mm. on a level of some sort of practical. I have not had any demo, dummy projects, any sort of, you know, to guide. You can see the questions that I'm asking, right? I'm trying to see because even right now, if I have it, I can put my, my myself out there if I have the hands on. So what is this program, um, this training entails? I want it a little bit more hands on because the theory part, I can walk you through the process of creating portfolio buckets, items, initiatives, decision points, uh, mm -hmm. the phases, and then the financial capacity planning, <clears throat> the KPIs in all of those things. So I do have a basic understanding. So mm -hmm. how is the practical side going to go and for what is the duration? That's more of where I'm trying to see. It will take uh, some 30 to 35 hours, minimum 30 to 35 hours. Even with the alternate uh, list. Huh? Even with the hands-on, because you know, after you 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 train or you you tell the person what is a portfolio and this is how it's created and everything, the person has to practice, right, and and do it. Me, I'm I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking for somebody who can oversee my my. Let's say I created a portfolio and I created a review here, I created a scoring model here, I created the what ifs analysis and all of those things, the cardboards and all of that. I did the backend configuration, you know, those things. Does it involve the practical side of it and how will it, you know, will you shape me when it comes to the practical with a dummy project or something? No, no, it is not dummy project. Each and everything we try to create it. Okay. <coughs> I'll share you my thoughts, uh, theoretical points as well as the config points. Okay. And uh, we're going to create uh, those configs. Then we're going to execute those, which is called a business transactions and all. Okay. 
later on you might see the same thing or you might create a different one or suppose i try to create you a real estate process and you mostly interested for the it business process so you, you can create the it business process and you can ask the different type of questions like uh, why it is uh, giving you this much of any problem what is the uh, <coughs> parameters i going to create the config for that why i am getting this much of an errors and all uh -huh. so it's not like that i am going to give you a real estate you have to copy paste all the real estate no you can create the any manufacturing industries or it relevant or a banking relevant okay so the, you can share those uh, uh, configs along with the knowledge so that okay. we can guide you okay all right that's good thank you um Okay, and how about the PS side too? Because um, that's one other side that um, I have a little bit um, understanding into as well. I have I have both PS and PPM. On the PS side, well, maybe let's start with the PPM first, right? Before we talk about PS, because I want to add it as a program as well, and how it integrates with PPM. You know, so how is that side too? And, PS um, is a sort of a different model, but when we try to create any portfolio level, okay, then we are going to integrate with the PS because the projects will be created under the PS itself only. So high level integration, how the projects can be created, how the master data will be created, how the cost and budget can be created. This type of things we are going to discuss. Okay. So All it right. is a part of the course, not complete the PS, okay. But at least uh, some uh, you can consider uh, eight to ten hours. It is a PS only. Okay. All right. Thank you. And um. Okay. Let's let's start the program. I'm I'm a little bit more like insisting <clears throat> or asking more on the practical side. After mm -hmm. you, I see you do it. I because here's the thing. I'm a full professional, right? I'm working on two different projects. And so there will be very limited time, but I have to push and do it. But I want to also do it with practical. So I want an intense, practical, intensive um, sort of approach. I'll be putting in the work. I have already created some portfolios down to the to the um, review analysis and all of those things. So I want that also to be part of it where even if it's after the 35 hours, we need to put in maybe extra 10 hours just to put in hands-on or 20 hours, I want that as well. Okay. No issue. Okay. All right. I think that's that's all I have for, for now. Uh, I, I understand a few things. I have high-level technical questions, but I will be asking once we start um, at each level. I have a few questions that I, I want to ask. Also, I'm looking for a certain timing. My agent will talk to you about the timing and everything. Um, and then hopefully we can start as soon as we're in the holiday. So we can start as soon as possible or whenever it's possible. No, okay, no issue. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, if you, if we, if anything, try to get me a course content and everything. Like what you have I think shown. Question, uh, we have already shared you. Um, yeah, I yeah, I have already shared with you. I'm sorry for the interruption, but yeah. all I have shared for PPM, and I can also share for PSU. Okay, all right, that's good. Thank you so much. I will look at it, um, and I want to see the the type of projects that you create, and also try to replicate it in different domains. So. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. We'll yep. back Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye. Uh, Vinod? Yeah. Uh, 70, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Actually, my request is I want a short video for one minute. So just introduction. Mm -hmm. Just what you will be teaching. One minute video I want. Uh, is it possible now or uh, I can take... Uh, oh, sorry, I'm not, I'm not getting what...